Hello friends, I have this idea, I want to show you, it's a concept. I use a kind of, uh, what would you call, approximation of it a lot in my playing, but I want to show you a more literal version of this concept. Basically what we're going to do is play a very, very simple little chord progression, and in between each chord round, we're going to play some lead licks, which you are going to improvise, but each lick we're going to add a note. So let me quickly show you what I mean by that. Firstly the chords, A minor, F, G. The voicing of the G chord I'm using is just moving that F chord up two frets. You could, if you really want to, change to a more like open cowboy grip kind of G chord, but I think it's a lot easier. And if you're interested, they're the same chords that we use in the Kelly Dead song, The Wild Wild Western. That's not why I chose them, but it's just something that you might be interested in if you like my band Kelly Dead. Okay, so, first one, A minor. G, F, just one note. Second note. Two notes. And so on, A minor. Three notes. And by three notes, I don't mean how many times am I picking the string, because I'm picking the string as many times as I want, but notes, I mean the first little lick I played was only that E note, the second one was only the F note and the E note. The third note, three notes, E, F, G. In whatever combination you want. So let me show you the scale. You might have played it before if you've been on my channel before. Zero, one, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. You can definitely, and I strongly encourage you to, yourself, find the notes further up this top string and all around the fretboard. So it's basically an E to E, no sharps or flats, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and back to E. So, there's the chords. That's four notes. Now to five. So I'm going all the way up to the seventh fret note. Next will be six. You don't need to play all the notes. You can skip over some notes. All I'm encouraging you to do is one note at a time, add notes to your lick so that you get the feel and the hear of each, of each one. So your first will be just the E, second one. Two notes. Three notes to choose from. We're working our way up. I'm not asking you to play it as fast as me, and I don't play it this fast either. I'm just trying to play it quickly. Because I don't like to waste your time here on YouTube. I know uh, the analytics tell me that most people watch the videos only for about two minutes, so I'm trying to keep everything nice and concise for you while still being thorough. Now I'm all the way up to that D note. A quick word on timing. So for example, in a standard situation, so if you were playing uh, with a beat, with a band, with a drummer, with a metronome, whatever, it would be considered standard to to make your lick fit into the bar that's available for the lick. And that's good and that's fine and that's standard, that's what we usually do. I have a concept, I call it free time. No doubt there's a more musical or correct term for it. I call it free time. We do it a lot in the band and I do it a lot on my own and I find it a particularly useful Spanish guitar technique. Free time is when the bar doesn't really matter. Play for as long or as short as you want. Generally as long though, if you're talking about this free time thing, so. If you follow this concept of where we're gonna add one note per lick, up and up and up and up, stop it. Got some deer in the paddock there, causing a bit of trouble. Stop it! They always do that, leave that fence alone. So especially for the longer ones. I'm clearly not sticking to that four beat bar, but it's kind of cool in the Spanish guitar. 
those kind of long flowery licks. So grab your guitar, make sure you get the very simple chords under your fingers, and then understand the concept that we're gonna play the scale 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. And each time we go, we're gonna add one more note. So that was all the way up. As I said, I did it fast, not because I think you should do it that fast, and not even because I do it that fast, or I would do it that fast, just to kind of quickly, quickly breeze through it. And maybe as a, just a challenge for yourself, once you've gotten to the top, of getting, using all the notes, including the E, maybe you can start to crease them again. So once you've gotten all the way to the, to the top of it, go back to, the D, the C, the B, and, and you can descend, the same thing. So it's just a little pattern. An important part of the concept is that you don't need every note to play a cool lick. So, I mean, that's cool as it is. That's just two notes, even one note. I've got lessons on one note solos. So you can use one note. And in this lesson, I'm just gonna add slowly. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope I haven't under, uh, I hope I haven't explained it too fast or too slow for you to understand. I hope that there's some value there for you. And remember as well, we're not, I'm not asking you to run up and down the scale. Quite a lot of my examples were almost directly running up and down the scale. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to improvise within the scale. So you can make all kinds of different licks. Good luck with this. Let me know how you go in the comments. I really greatly appreciate when people comment on this channel. I love to talk guitars, I love to help. Sometimes people write and say lovely things. Sometimes people have things that they don't like about the channel. It's all good, it's all fair game. As long as you're respectful, I strongly encourage all kinds of discussion, good and bad, on this channel. Practice hard, I hope this makes sense, and thank you very, very much. Let me know how you're going.